We live in a world where we all depend on digital technology in one way or another. Whether we use technology to complete a class assignment, connect with people around the world, or simply for entertainment purposes, it's vital for us to learn how digital systems work. Computers allow us to store and view different forms of data, such as numbers, text, images, sounds, animations, and videos. But how do they do that? There are several internal system components and peripheral devices available to perform the tasks required for us to communicate with the computer. These tasks can be classified into the following categories Input, Output and Storage. Input devices allow data to enter into the computer. They capture information and translate it into a form that can be processed and used by other parts of the computer. Examples include the keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, webcam, stylus, and the touch screen. Output devices take the information within the computer and present it in a form that we can understand. Examples are the monitor, printer, projector, and speakers. Storage devices store information to be recalled and used at a later time. These include the hard disk, USB flash and the external drive. Now let the fun part begin. Your task is to go on a scavenger hunt and explore some of these devices. Here is what you need to do. Form groups of four. Go on a scavenger hunt around the classroom and computer lab. Find examples of input, output and storage devices. Since you won't be able to bring the devices back with you to class, Use the digital cameras provided to take photos of them. Come back to the classroom and hand in the cameras. In tomorrow's lesson, you'll transfer the images you collected to the computer. Use the photos to make a PowerPoint presentation about input, output and storage devices. And present this to the class. Good luck! Created using Powtoon.